if you like my videos, click like. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Just push that subscribe button. Thank you. Hi guys, it's Mama Edie. And I'm here today to tell you something that you probably think you already know everything about. But do you really? Do you know about antifreeze? Of course you do. Do you know that it can be poisonous to your dogs? Probably so. Do you know why or what the symptoms are if your dog gets a hold of some? Probably not. If you do, good for you. But if you don't, that's what I'm here to tell you today. Uh, there is a chemical or a toxin urethane glyco that makes antifreeze lethal and because of this dogs will consume great quantities of it before being repulsed by its aftertaste and by then it's too late it does not take a significant amount of ethylene glyco to cause fatal damage to the system less than three ounces or 88 milliliters of antifreeze is sufficient to poison a medium-sized dog. So if you have a small dog, think about how quick it could happen. Antifreeze poisoning affects the brain, liver, and kidneys. Uh, it's also found in engine coolant and hydraulic brake fluids. So when you're doing working on the cars, guys, be careful. Some of the symptoms are drunken behavior, uh, delirium, euphoria, wobbly, uncoordinated movements, nausea, vomiting, excessive urination, rapid heartbeat, depression, weakness, seizures, convulsions, shaking tremors, fainting, or coma. And uh, what you need to do is, as soon as you realize your dog's got no antifreeze, Call the poison control, which I will put the phone number up here. I actually made a clip about poison control before. I will put that video up right here where you can get a hold of it. Um, but uh, for immediate first aid, and only if you're positive that your dog has ingested antifreeze, try to induce vomiting by giving your dog a simple hydrogen peroxide solution of one teaspoon for five pounds of body weight. One teaspoon per five pounds. So if your dog weighs 40 pounds, that is five into 48, I believe. I'm not good with math. With mo no more than three teaspoons given at once. So no, not eight. Uh, so one teaspoon per five pounds of body weight with no more than three teaspoons given at once. This method should only be used if the toxin has been ingested in the previous two hours and should only be given three times spaced apart at a 10 minute interval. <clears throat> if your pet has not vomited after the third dose, stop giving it the hydroperoxide and seek immediate veterinary attention. Uh, you know, first thing you need to do is See where your 24-hour veterinarian hospital is. Ours is almost an hour away. Actually, probably close to an hour away. Be prepared for that. Know where it's at. So, make sure you got that on, and, and have their phone number, by the way, where you can find it, just like you would if it was, you know, for humans. Uh, it says you may want to call your veterinarian before trying to induce vomiting since it can be dangerous and sometimes toxic. With poisons will do more harm coming back through the esophagus than it did going down. Do not use anything stronger than hydrogen peroxide without your veterinarian's assistance. And do not induce vomiting unless you are absolutely sure of what your dog has ingested. Also, if your pet has already vomited, do not try to force more vomiting. Uh, do not induce vomiting if your dog is unconscious, of course not, or is having trouble breathing, or is exhibiting signs of serious distress or shock. 
Whether your pet vomits or not, after the initial care, you must rush it to the veterinarian facility immediately. Your veterinarian will be able to safely administer antidotes to the poison, such as activated charcoal to prevent further absorption of the toxin. And for mythoprazones, which can treat antifreeze poisoning very effectively. Now, dogs that have consumed antifreeze are very small quantity may survive, but with, will develop kidney failure within days of indigestion. So unfortunately, death due to kidney damage is common among animals that have been poisoned by antifreeze. So guys, just be careful with the antifreeze. If you're going to wash antifreeze out of your car, go to a car wash and do it. Don't do it at home where to have a drain. And when you get done, rinse that out so other dogs don't get a hold of it. Please. It says antifreeze poisoning can easily be avoided by following a few simple precautions. Keep a antifreeze containers tightly closed and stored out of reach of pets. Take care not to spill antifreeze. And if it is spilled, ensure that it is immediately and thoroughly cleaned up. Absolutely. Dispose of used antifreeze containers properly. Check the radiator of your car regularly and repair leaks immediately. And if you have a leak, uh, get the car away from the dog. Do not allow your dog to wander or are unattended where there is access to antifreeze. Roads, gutters garages and driveways, that kind of thing. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has labeled pro propylene glycosafe. That is P-R-O-P-Y-L-E-N-E -E, glycosafe. And it is now used for antifreeze. So look for your antifreeze with this ingredient instead to keep your pets safer from accident poisoning. So there you go. Uh, go look for your new antifreeze. Keep your dog away from it as much as possible. Call poison control if you absolutely necessary, but make sure you get that dog to the vet. And that's all for that. And I love you guys. But most of all, I love my pets. And I